I think he answered a lot of questions. I don't know of any question he didn't answer. Well, he didn't, ex he didn't talk about executive privilege. He talked about the need for a member of the cabinet, in this case the attorney general, to be able to have conversations with the president that don't find its way into the public domain. That is, there isn't a president in the history of the United States that has not had that expectation, unless those conversations are about wrongdoing, of which there is no evidence. About Russia? Well, nothing, because Jeff Sessions is recused from it, so he's not supposed to even know anything about whether it's in the public domain. We learned a lot more about his version of the February 14th meeting, which Director Comey characterized one way, and General Sessions had a different recollection of it. I think he answered every question he thought he could, as truthfully as he possibly could, to the extent he had a recollection on it. Um, obviously, there are issues that he wasn't going to get into, because as Attorney General and as a member of the Cabinet, he doesn't feel it's appropriate to outline in great detail every conversation he's had with the President of the United States. He obviously doesn't keep notes the way Director Comey did either.